Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the first intermediate grade. Our textbook is Super Goal 2 and today we will cover unit. What are you going to wear there for meaning and function? This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazna Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz al Agil. So let's begin. Our objectives in today's lesson, we hope that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to use the present progressive for future and also add time expressions for future. Before we do this, let's make quick revision on our last lesson. Last lesson, we have a writing exercise where we showed you uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the book uh, pictures or different pictures of different men wearing different clothes. And we have uh, one question, which is, what is the boy wearing in picture A? What is the boy wearing in picture B, C, and D? And we learn how can we describe what each of them wearing. For example, we describe it like this. He is wearing a jacket, a sweater, bands, boots, and gloves. And we said that uh, we added a question, which is, uh, where is he going? So based on the clothes that we, uh, we can see here, where do you think is he going? And we have the different answers like, for example, for this one, where is he going? I think he is going to the mountains. And also in the writing corner, we have learned if we have or if we, uh, if we uh, come across uh, two or three adjectives in one sentence, how exactly do we put them in order? For example, when there are two or three adjectives in front of the noun, they usually go in this order. For example, here we have opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, and material. So, for example, he has a nice new silk tie. He has nice new silk tie. So, nice, this is an opinion. Uh, new, this is the age. Silk is the material that is made of, uh, uh, that made this uh, tie. The other example we have, this one. She has small round gold earrings. She has small round gold earrings. So, small here is the size, round is the shape, and gold is the material. So, this is uh, how can we use two or three adjectives when we are describing uh, uh, one object. And also, we have other examples, like for the example this one, he is wearing an expensive Italian. Expensive, this is the opinion, and Italian, this is the origin. And also, we have uh, done this exercise, you to uh, use two or three adjectives to describe the boy's clothes, write them in a notebook, then compare it with a partner. For example, just uh, have a look at uh, the boy's clothes and try to describe it with the new adjectives you have. For example, like this one, comfortable old yellow sneakers. So, we, uh, we have learned how can we add more adjectives and how can we put them in the appropriate uh, order. And here an example of this, for example, picture A, we said that he has clean, long, white, cotton, though, and also he has smart, dark, or he is wearing smart, dark, brown leather shoes. And also with exercise C, I talked about try to find three photos of people who are wearing different clothes and write description of each uh, person. So, you can, for example, uh, put these pictures on a table. We said this as uh, uh, a home exercise. Uh, you can do it with a family member or friends uh, that you know. And also, just uh, put three pictures of uh, three different people and read the description and people will point to the, uh, the person you have uh, described. And also, the last thing with project, just do a survey using uh, these uh, terms about where do uh, or who helps them with their clothing uh, uh, choices. So if they want to uh, 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 buy clothes, so who we'll help them? So here we have salespeople, family, fashion, advertising, store website. So the, whatever the answer is, you put a tick mark in front of the answer. Now, as for our lesson today, I would like you please to open your books on page 47. Open your books please on page 47. On page 47, we are going to talk about the future with the present progressive. In this, uh, uh, in this page, we're going to talk about 
using the future and the, uh, uh, with the present progressive. We have learned that we using the uh, present progressive for the actions that is happening right now. For example, right now, I am standing in front of the screen. Right now, right this moment, I am standing, standing in front of this screen. Also, right now, I am speaking English. Right now, right this moment, I am speaking English. So, we have learned that if we are using the ing form, the verbs that ends with ing, it means that we are talking about actions that is happening right now. And this is true. But also we have other use for present progressive. Let's learn these uh, uh, uses. So here, we often use the present progressive for definite arrangements in the future. So, if we have a certain plan that will happen in the future, then we can use the present progressive. It is also correct to use be or the verb to be plus going to, but usually English speakers use the present progressive when the arrangements are certain. For example, if I have a plan, okay, in the future, let's say maybe next Thursday, and this plan is certain, is 100% definite, uh, for example, uh, if I book uh, uh, a trip to, uh, to go to Jeddah, for example. So, I can use the present progressive to talk about this arrangement. I can say, I am traveling to Jeddah next Thursday. I am traveling to Jeddah next Thursday. So here, I use the present progressive that ends with ing form to talk about uh, future plans that is certain, that is definite, that is, uh, uh, that, is that I'm very sure it will uh, happen. Why? Because I made uh, the booking, I arranged my schedule, and so on. So let's uh, read a couple of examples here. What are you doing? And let's try to differentiate between when can we use the ing form or the present progressive when we're talking about actions that is happening right now or the actions that will happen in the future. So, for actions that is happening right now, we will have similar question like this. What are you doing? What are you doing? So, this question indicates that you, uh, or has been asked right now. But uh, how can we use the same format or the same, uh, the same uh, present progressive for the things that will happen to the future? we will add a time expressions. Have a look at this question. What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? So here, I added tomorrow, and this time it means that I am using this uh, present progressive uh, or the question that is written in present progressive for the future. Another example, what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? And this is also using not the present progressive, but the be with going to, to talk about plans that will happen in the future. That is in case of questions. Now let's have an example of sentences. So, he is wearing a suit. He is wearing a suit. It means that right now, right this moment, he is wearing a suit. But how can we use the same format, the same uh, present progressive to talk about things that will happen in the future? Have a, a, a look here. He is wearing a suit to the graduation. He is wearing a suit to the graduation. So this is for the future. The graduation is not now. It is something will happen for the future. So here, uh, this is an example of how can we use present progressive in future tense. Also, another example with using be plus going to, he is going to wear a suit to the graduation. He is going to wear a suit in, uh, to the graduation. And this is also a, a, a sentence that is written for the future because we used the going to plus uh, verb. So again, we can use the present progressive to talk about plans that are certain that are uh, certain and will happen in the future. And how can we differentiate between regular sentence and uh, or the sentence that talks about things happening right now? 
or the sentences that talk about the future by time expressions. So here he is wearing a suit, no time expression. On the uh, second one, he is wearing a suit to the graduation. This is an occasion will happen in the future. Again, what are you doing? No time expression. What are you going? Uh, what are you doing tomorrow? So using time expressions will help us to differentiate between when can we use it, uh, the present progressive uh, as we're speaking right now, or uh, versus talking about it in the future. So a very important note here: when we use the present progressive to show the future, it is necessary. It is a must. Something you have to do, which is use time expressions so as you can see here it is very important that we use time expressions uh, when we're using the present progressive uh, time expressions like what like tonight tomorrow next week or on thursday let's have an examples uh, uh, or more examples of this so here for the first one i am watching the game tonight i am watching the game tonight if i said I am watching the game only. It means that I'm talking about thing. Uh, uh, I'm talking about something that is happening right now. But when we add, or when we I uh, when I added tonight, it means that something will happen in the future. Another example. I am traveling to Mecca next week. I am traveling to Mecca next week. So here I use the time expression which is next week just to indicate that I'm using the present progressive to talk or to show that I'm using it for the future. Also another example, I am studying for English exam on Thursday. I am studying for the English exam on Thursday and here I used on Thursday as a time expression just to indicate that I'm using this sentence or using the present progressive here to talk about something that will happen in the future. Also, you can use uh, other time expressions here, for example. Here an example, I am meeting my brother. You can say on Tuesday morning or on uh, Tuesday afternoon, evening, night, tomorrow morning, afternoon or evening or night, this afternoon or this evening or tonight. So. You can talk about uh, any uh, time of the day by saying and uh, by calling uh, the day maybe on Wednesday morning, on Wednesday evening. And you can use it uh, to talk about tomorrow as well. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. And also you can use it to talk about uh, the, uh, the day or, or uh, the time of this day. You can say this afternoon or uh, this night or this evening so you can use them as well so here you have uh, extra time expressions that you can use to uh, in uh, using the present progressive so here more examples i am watching a film on tv this evening it means in a few hours i am watching a film on tv this evening again if we use in the uh, if we use the sentence without mentioning this evening it will become a present progressive for action that is happening right now but since we added this evening or we added a time expression it means that uh, we are using it for the future another example i am leaving tomorrow morning i am leaving tomorrow morning not right now but i am leaving tomorrow morning this is a certain this is something that will happen and here we have, we are visiting friends on Saturday afternoon. We are visiting friends on Saturday afternoon. So if we said we are visiting friends, it means right now we are visiting friends. But how can we tell that is this is for the future when we add the time expression on Saturday afternoon? So here, I would like you to have a, a deep look at this table. So on this table here on the left, we have 8 a.m. until 12 a.m., which is the morning period. Uh, and here from 12 uh, uh, p.m. until 4 p.m., this is the afternoon. And here from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m., this is the evening. 
and at the end 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. this is the night so these are different uh, periods uh, or different time uh, of the day so why is it important because we are going to talk about uh, the actions that will happen in uh, this uh, uh, based on this table so this table is divided to five days Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And as you can see, under each day, you will see actions. Under each day, you will see actions. So, for example, on Sunday, there is no action in the morning, no action in the afternoon, but there is action on evening. Call to invite friends. Also, there is another action on uh, a night, which is book uh, restaurant. On Monday, no actions in the morning, but there is an action in the afternoon, take a suit to dry cleaner. And also another action in the evening, buy shoes. And there is no action uh, on, uh, at night. Let's go to Tuesday. Uh, on the morning, we have order an action, which is ordering cake from a bakery. Nothing in the afternoon. In uh, the evening, we have writing speech and nothing at night. On Wednesday, on morning, we have pick up suit from dry cleaner wash car in the afternoon nothing in the evening and at night meet brother at airport 8 30 p.m and on thursday nothing in the morning in the afternoon attend graduation ceremony 12 p.m and in at the evening guests arrive at restaurant 6 p.m and nothing at night so these are the actions that is divided uh, on this uh, table in different five days with different time so why is it important why I said all of this? Because it is Sunday morning and Gassim's graduation is on Thursday. And he is planning a party after the ceremony. So he has many things to do this week. Look at Gassim's schedule. Write sentences with the present uh, uh, continuous, the present progressive, about his arrangement. So Gassim's, his uh, uh, graduation party will be on Thursday and this is his schedule he has divided his schedule for uh, the whole week so what do we need to do we're going to write sentence 10 sentences at each one of these actions we're going to write sentences at each one of these uh, actions so it's very important that we started with Sunday okay so uh, what is he doing uh, for example on Sunday evening what is he doing uh, uh, on this evening so on Sunday evening, he is calling to invite uh, friends. He is calling to invite friends. Also, what is he doing tonight? What is he doing tonight? Tonight of what? Tonight of Sunday. Remember that we will start with Sunday. So, tonight he is booking a restaurant. He is booking a restaurant. So, let's now uh, try to uh, write down the uh, sentences full sentences on each of these activities the first one here uh, as an example he is calling his friends this evening to invite them to the graduation uh, party so let's start with number one what is the second thing that will happen on the schedule what is the second thing that Gassim will need to do on the schedule let's see he is booking the restaurants tonight very good so the first thing, as we can see here, the first thing, calling, the second thing is booking. After this, we'll go to Monday and see what is the first action that we will see, and so on. So, number one, he is booking the restaurant tonight. Number two, he is taking his suit to the dry cleaner tomorrow afternoon. So now we are on Sunday, and tomorrow afternoon, he is taking his suit to the dry cleaner tomorrow afternoon, as you can see on the table. Number three, he is buying shoes tomorrow evening. So on Monday evening, he is uh, buying uh, uh, shoes tomorrow evening. And number four, he is ordering a cake from the bakery on uh, Tuesday morning. And number five, he is writing a speech on Tuesday evening writing a speech on Tuesday evening. Now, let's see what the other action we have. Number six, he is picking up his suit from the dry cleaner on Wednesday morning. And number seven, 
he is washing his car on Wednesday afternoon and number eight he is meeting his brother at the airport on Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. as it mentioned in the table. And number nine, he is attending the graduation ceremony on Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. And the last thing, the last thing mentioned or the last activity on the schedule, which is his guests are arriving at the restaurant on Thursday evening at 6 p.m. So now we have explained the table and we have uh, wrote the or we have written the sentences about each of the activities that is on the table about Gassim's uh, graduation. Now work with a partner talk about different arrangements that you have in the future and you can use the present progressive. So think of any uh, any arrangement that you will do in the coming future that is definite and you can use as well or you can uh, uh, talk uh, with uh, a friends of yours or maybe a family member for example I talk with my friend and he said that I am visiting my friends on Thursday also the other uh, activity he has which is I am shopping for a grocery next uh, week so this is how can we use the present progressive to talk about the future arrangements and now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.